Let's talk about lightning collection. Oh boy. I don't know why I did that. So, it be recent rumors that a uh, lightning collection is gonna be ending. And uh, well, I think best bet for me to say that uh, I honestly do not care. Let me explain. There are way other more franchises out there that are caught my attention that I will join more than Power Rangers right now. Cause right now, no offense, lately Power Rangers have sorry about that. Lately Power Rangers have not been doing that good. Because just because I feel like there's a gap between between like every Tokusatsu show. You got Ultraman, you got Sentai, you got Kamen Rider, then you got Power Rangers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, look at this. Kamen Rider had Geeks right now. Sentai has King Ogre. Ultraman has Blazar. What does Power Ranger have? Nothing. But Cosmic Fury, Cosmic Fury ain't even out yet. Frankly, I don't even really care for Cosmic Fury. C Cosmic Fury has Power Ranger has nothing right now, and that's honestly that's honestly pretty sad. So I'm gonna bring the big elephant in the room by saying this: it was it was rumored, also look like look like this is gonna be true too. That Hasbro is taking a hiatus from Lightning Collection. They're not. St they're, they're not. They're not stopping the line. No, they're just gonna take a little bit of a break from it. Because oh boy, Hasbro, you guys got some lot. You guys got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> First off, before they do this, they just announced that uh, they're going to release. At PostCon, well, at San Diego Comic Con, a new option for the series for for the series uh for the series face for the series uh for the series head. My head. What I mean by that is this: Hasbro's giving you an option to go add glasses to your series head scope. But uh, here's the thing. You have to you have to go down to San Diego Comic Con yourself to go to go do that option in person. You can't do it on the Hasbro Post app. Hasbro. No offense, but uh Sorry. Sorry about that. Hasbro, but uh, no offense. I don't have the money to go down to San Diego right now, and uh, also I don't like the freaking series heads, series head feature you guys have. Also, also it's stupid though because I have I have friends I have friends that can't go to San Diego and get the freaking glasses option for the figure for 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 the custom heads. That's stupid why you made that single Comic Con exclusive. But that but that's not the only thing. You guys know so do you guys remember that we matched the MPR black? Oh guess what? That's also single Comic Con exclusive too. No lie. It actually is. It's actually a uh single Sandio Comic Con exclusive as well. So Hasbro, so not only you're making people go down to San Diego Comic Con for a new option that they can't do on your on your crappy app, you're making people go down there for a remaster figure as well. Hasbro, have you ever thought about? Mm, I don't know. Have you ever thought about that? Uh oh, yeah. Not everyone can go to San Diego Comic Con. 
Because my fucking god, why can't you guys not be like Tamashi? Tamashi and uh, Tamashi announced that they're going to put the three figure from Saiyan, the three SA figure from Saiyan Comic Con on Premium Bandai in August. Which one you're asking? The event exclusive San Diego Comic Con, Maji Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, Battle Damage from the Cell Saga, and the Nerd Reddit. Guess what? All three of these are San Diego Comic Con exclusives. And they'll be on Premium Bandai right after the event, right after the convention is over. How do I know this? They did this last year where for Super Saiyan 2, Goku, Majin Buu, Shenron, and Android 16. And guess what? All four of those figures were also on Big Bad Toy Store as well. So Hasbro, you could do it, you could pull a Tamashi here and put that on Big Bad Toy Store as well because, no offense Hasbro, I don't have poles. I don't have Hasbro poles, I don't trust Hasbro poles, and I don't use Hasbro poles. So, this is just, I'm just gonna say this, this just, this just seemed like a, this just seemed like a pair of bucket of greediness coming from you guys. Cause that's totally unnecessary. And fucking of course, it's MNPR related. Because you know half would like to, you know half would like to, you know half would love MNPR, but yet that's the main reason why they're losing customers. Why they're losing fans in the first place? Because Hasbro, I don't think you know this, but uh, the main reason why you guys are losing, well, fans for for the Power Ranger from from the Power Ranger team, is because you guys rely way too much on nostalgia. Like, no offense, I like I like fan service nostalgia too. I love looking back at old school cartoons I grew up with and watching. You say, damn, this stuff still hold, it, this stuff still age well. Hold on, my opinion. But at the same time, you guys rely way too much on nostalgia. And uh, also, I'm going to guess that you guys do not know Jack after In Space for Power this season. Should we talk? Do, do we have to call, Do we have to talk about about what they did with Ray Four? So, for those that don't know, when Ray Four was happening. When Hasbro announced SPD Red, they fucked up. They got they got a cosplayer, the person to they got a cosplayer to pretend to be Jack. Now, do I have do I have to talk about this? Well, I think I had to. See, Jack is a per, it, it's a diverse character in SPD. And he's my and he and he's my favorite ranger too. But uh they got a cosplayer to per to pretend to be him for the pictures. We yet that the cosplayer look nothing like him. So has blood. Wanna take one tell me why you guys are racist? Just saying. Because that was because that was on that was honestly pretty dumb. You could, what you could have done is got his actor to promote the figure himself, just like you did with freaking Zayko and Kai's actor for Dino Fury. And oh, look at that! Both actors promoted their figures on your live streams as well. So you, so you want to explain to me how how you guys were so fucking lazy? Not to get his act, get Jack's act to promote his figure. Yeah, it would have been ten times easier. Just saying. But nah, what do I know? Hasbro, you keep forgetting. You can, you guys, you guys keep forgetting. You guys keep forgetting this. Your brand is Power Rangers, and uh, use your use the power of money, and use the power of money to get a range of celebrity to promote their own figure for your live stream. I don't care what Donald Fear did, even though I just even though I just used them for example. You want to funny though? 
Zane's actor, um, Zane's actor, well, Zane's actor spoiled his second in space silver figure on his Instagram page. Funny. If you don't want to buy, listen. If you don't want to buy a Lane Collector figure, here, here's the alternative Sentai Figure Arts. Just saying. But, Broku, those are fragile. Okay, and. Yes, they're fragile, but guess what? We buy stuff from Japan all the time. So that fragile stuff won't work here on me. You just gotta suck it up. You just gotta suck it up and buy it. Oh, what's this? You want a samurai for figure form, but yet there's no light collection? Figure arts. Hurricane Jer. I mean, Ninja Storm, but yet there's no, there's like no, there's like no Ninja Storm light collection. Figure arts. I'll help. I'll, I'll help you. Big Bad Toy Store have blue and yellow in stock. You can buy red from Amazon US and just import him from there to here. The go wide just are big bucks on eBay, but hey, go ahead. It's just annoying because I can't have my all-time favorite part of the season in the storm in, in like a collection form, unfortunately, due to this. And that sucks because now I may have, now I may, now I gotta go, prob now I gotta go get the figure arts, which I don't want to. But at the same time, I had no choice. Oh, what's this? You want what's this? You want a you want a Super Mega Force Red Ranger f figure that the Hasbro didn't make? Well, the Senkoku Seiho Gokai Red just came out, so go ahead and find that fucker. Excuse me, later, but, but go ahead, but go ahead and buy that guy. Go find him. I didn't buy him. Well, I don't care for Gokai Jer, so yeah. Hasbro. Before I end this, Hasbro, it feels like that uh, you guys don't know what the heck you're doing for the brand because you guys, you guys basically said, you guys basically said most time you do not care because one, you say that the fans come first, but yet two, you guys, you guys do not like the criticism that has, you guys do not like the criticism that that we give to you. Yes, I know they respond to criticism, criticism due to the last wave. Having minor QC issues, but that doesn't change. But that doesn't change. I know. At least they're listening. Yes, but at the same time, what would they do? What What would they do? What I mean by that is this: Will they listen again? Because Hasbro. I want these figures to be. I want these figures to be good and decent. But yeah, I hate it when I find out that I hate it when I find out that a figure not come not come with their perspective weapon. Lost Galaxy Yell did not come with her Quasar saber, but yet you gave her her Quasar blaster. Diamond Thunder White had an incorrect helmet, but yet, but yet, yet you got yet you guys made up for that by giving us a replacement helmet. S Omega Rangers half Omega Rangers back ain't even painted. Near near half the Morphers either. Wanna explain that? God, I hate this shit. I'm gonna put in the description a video from my friend Sound Out and uh he talked about his experience with Hasbro's customer QC because oh boy. He got a lot of things to say about that, and uh, yeah. I just gotta make this video short because the last time I made a full on video talking about this, that, that video, that video is too heavy for Final Cut Pro to edit, so yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you want a part two of this, just please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description, follow my Twitch, Twitch.tv at Pokestars15. I'll be live streaming within uh, Oh crap, we're three hours from now, at, well, four, 
Access O'Clock, EST, Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we'll be playing. Well, I will. I will be playing. I'll be streaming Fat again. Spy Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales New Game Plus, and we'll be doing the Power Boss fight. And uh, yeah, yeah, guy, that's it. My name, my name's Aaron. Uh, I'm out. My next review probably gonna be on the Mayfex Hush, but Mayfex. The Mayfex art. Mayfex, uh, Huntress, Nightwing, or the SA figures coming alive. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all, ha hope you all had a nice day. And, uh, yeah. I'm out. If you want part two of this, let, but if you want part two of this video, let's get this video up to, okay, let's, let's get this video up to 5k, to 500, 500 uh, likes. That's too much, okay. Uh, 50. Let's get this up to 50, just to be fair. 550, both can work, but yeah. Let's get it up to 50 likes. If that, if that works, then well, I'll make a part two of this, of this rant. Alright, that's all I gotta say. I'm out. Bye.